Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this presentation of the RLSA. I'm Asha Toon, joined alongside my partner, Double Aaron. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Glad to hear you're doing good as well. Uh, we, got, we got ourselves quite a match here. Uh, it, it's interesting. Both of these teams coming into this matchup have very, very different stories. Uh, but first, let's start off with the rosters. Do you want to run us through uh, the rosters today? Yeah, so tonight we have two great teams going head-to-head. -head. And we'll start with the Landers because they have claimed the number one playoff seed for Season 9 of the RLSA. So to start, we have their team captain slash general manager, Chorizo. And tonight they're bringing their starter, their starter Digital Didi. And for the Bandits, who, might I add, have fought vigorously for the number four playoff seed, I believe they won a, was it a four-way tie? Was yeah, four-way four -way tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a three to four uh, record for the regular season. There was a four-way tie, and they just barely won it. So they fought hard to get here tonight. Uh, leading this team into the playoffs is their captain, your boy Rex. And they are starting tonight with Kappa Kale. Yeah, I got a little bit backwards there. That's my mistake. But nonetheless, we, we got ourselves a pretty good matchup here today. And something of note, Digital, this is his rookie season. Um, of course, the only other rookie in the playoffs right now is Frozen Steel on Team Elite who await the winner of this match in the Scrub Cup Finals. And man, I gotta say, this is the first time in the seven-game era a team with a losing record has actually made it into the playoffs, thus being the Bandits. And man, have I ever been, like, you know, more scare cautiously optimistic, is what I'll say about this Bandits team. They were one of the few teams to take the Landers to Game 5 in the regular season. I just think that's a good matchup for them. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun to see, but... Um, I won't get too much into it because we're going to go into predictions here in a second. So who do you have winning this match here tonight? And what's the series score for you? Um, this is a tough matchup. And uh, it can be very close because as you said, the Bandits are one of the only teams to bring the Landers to a game five, I believe. And just to put some context into that, the Landers are the only team who have ever gone 7-0 uh, and o ever since the league added yeah, in the two game extra era. games mm -hmm. yeah and so this team has really been dominating and just to bring them to a game five a final game says something in itself so obviously the bandits are really good despite having a losing record and honestly this could be a really close series but the fact that the landers have the hottest streak in the league coming in off of a seven game winning streak um mm-hmm this could be a very tough matchup. However, the Bandits have the fans backing them up. I believe they have like oh, yeah. double the votes. 66% so. in favor of the Bandits. Yeah. They're the fan yeah, favorite so. here. So what's there your, are some more what, people obviously want them to win. Uh-huh. Um, Who are you honestly, I think, I really do think it'll be a close series, 4-3. 4-3, um, wow. Game 7. I'm, I'm hoping to go to Game 7. We'll see. As far as the team taking it, honestly, if the Bandits get some great teamwork. Overall, they are a more solid team. They're more consistent as a team. And so I believe they can take this series because this is a 2v2 uh, league, right? So it's all yeah. about that teamwork. Yeah, and it's... So, <laughs> Sorry, go uh, ahead. Continue. I was going to say, it's very important... In 2v2, 3v3, and you make a couple of mistakes, you got you got a third guy back. It's a very different game mode, 2v2. It's very important that both of your players are playing well. But, man, oh man, I, I just got to say, this is an intriguing matchup. I personally also have the Landers taking this. I think it's going to be less close. I have them taking it 4-1 to one here. I, I just think, man, they've had a lot of close series, and a lot of people are like, oh, they're not that good, because they've gone to Game 5 a lot of times. It's the good teams that finish those series. The better team always finds a way to win. And that's what the Landers have done consistently. You don't go 7-0 and off of fluke wins. This is a really good team. And what's really interesting, the winner of this is going to have to play a team who has a nice streak of their own. The Elite started 0-2, finished 5-2, and 1-5. They've just won their sixth straight. So we could have a 6 streak versus an 8-game win streak, potentially, uh, if the Landers end up going here. But the Bandits, man, Rex has... 
kryptonite of so and we're gonna go ahead and get into this match here in just a moment oh like i was saying rex 27 if you go back a little flashback to the season 7 finals uh rex was playing with the amigos at the time and they just him and cuppy they had the number of the landers in that matchup so it'll be interesting to see if he still has their number in this game it's interesting you point that out because you know we definitely do have some history with these players on these two teams obviously this is i believe their second time facing each other in a playoff scene um first time was in a finals and now they're in the playoffs actually and Hold on, so it's there was the Amigos in Season 7. Right now, uh, this is right. the first time the Bandits and Landers have played each other in the postseason. Of course, but I'm talking about the players. Oh, uh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, second time. Yeah, and so, again, another elimination round. Oh, and that's a whiff, and Chorizo will put it in the back of the net. Yeah, easy first goal for him here. Kappa kill, a little bit of a light touch off to the side. Rex misses the ball right there. Chorizo has just got a wide open net to throw it in. And who do we got rocking the Scarab here? Digital has the Scarab. Maybe maybe the power of the Scarab hasn't been unleashed yet. We don't know what's about to happen. but <laughs> Nonetheless, Lander's taking an early lead here. Kepikale on the wall here. Digital, some sort of fake. Chorizo hits it by him. Shot towards the net off the corner and out. And the Bandits, they're pretty starved here. Nice bump. Better class out, though. Yeah, the Bandits are scrambling on defense. They just can't find some footing. This might be the break that they need to get the ball away from their net onto the other side, start some aggression. Boy Rex, a little bit of a shot on net. Teresa's able to stop that. Ooh, Teresa gets it past. Almost on net. Your boy Rex with an excellent save. Yeah, that's a really nice save. It looks routine, but when you're in the playoffs this early into the game, it takes a minute to get settled in. In my opinion, the first team to score, they really, they have an advantage because when you have that feeling that you just scored in the playoffs, it, you kind of have that sense of relief. When you first get in here, you might be a little nervous, um, maybe hands a little sweaty, maybe a little shaky. But once you score that first goal, you're like, all right, we're here, we can do this. Oh, yeah, for sure, and especially in a high-stakes game like this. Lots oh, of good shot. Make tons of Off mistakes. the crossbar. Yeah, some early mistakes coming out from both sides here. This game could easily be one-to-one -one if that shot was just a little bit lower. Chorizo not getting the best of touches here. But now, the Bandits, they're going to throw this back in. Digital plays it over towards the corner. Capicail beats Digital. That ball's dangerous in front of the Landers net. Chorizo, dangerous touch from his own side. Digital misses oh. it, but Chorizo's back. Is that in? Yes, it is. And that's in. Oh, man. Unfortunately, the, <laughs> man, the Bandits just cannot get back to their net in time, despite Digital DD missing that open net. Oh. Yeah, that, that's, that's a little tough. It's a little tough because when one player misses and the second player makes it before either of you do. Maybe you gotta work on the, the rotation speed there. Oh, here's a great shot. shot! And that's in! Oh my gosh, what a great shot. Halfway, just past halftime, Trezo is gonna knot up the hat trick here with a beautiful ceiling shot right past the defenders here. And if you're the Bandits, what's going on here? We gotta get something rolling here if you're the Bandits. Yeah, they really need to defend Teresa. He's probably... I mean, he's a really dangerous player with the ball, so they just got to limit as much time as they can with him with the ball. Yeah, and it's game one. Uh, a lot of things can happen in game one that don't really represent the series fully, but that was an amazing save. Kappa kill, overcommit, wide open net here, but Digital makes it back in time for the demo here. Kappa yeah, kill. key demo for his team right there. Absolutely. Rex throws it into the zone here. Digital misses Digital the clear. Misses. Oh, but Kappa Kale's not there. He passes it to his teammate, but your boy Rex is in the back of the map for some odd reason. Yeah, the rotation's a little bit interesting. They're, they're not playing up a little bit. The Bobcats struggled with that a little bit at the start of their series uh, last night. And when they, when they fixed that, they looked a lot better. 
And now, mm. a lot of a lot of double commits. They're kind of throwing their all at it. And down 3-0, I, I don't blame them. They're getting a little bit desperate here. But nothing yeah, seems to be working. Especially with... Yeah, one and a quarter minutes left on the clock. There's only so much they can do left. Yeah, and at this point, even if you do score a goal here, and it looks like Kappa really okay. wants to score a goal on his own net there. <laughs> yeah. Guess it doesn't matter how he scores it. A goal is a goal in my book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Chorizo gets it oh. past him, and that's four on the game here for Chorizo. He starts off game one huge. Honestly, Bandits are just not clicking right now. Their defense is lacking. Their offense has just not been there today so far. Hopefully in game two they can fix that. Yeah, we've seen them at their peak, and honestly, the inconsistency through the season is why they barely made it into the playoffs. They had a great series in week seven against the Bobcats, and if we can see that Bandits team for the rest of this series, it's going to be a close one. Oh, yeah, for sure. A potential game seven there, maybe even overtime. Digital DD with oh, almost a shot on net, a little wide. Cap kill will take control, but can't get it past Chorizo. He's getting a little oh, double tap, could have been on net. Your boy Rex with the wonderful save though. Oh, and they're getting physical right now. You can tell there's a little bit of frustration boiling over. Rex, yeah. that should be a oh, free goal nice here. Nice flick. Yeah, Good flick over Digital DD. Yeah, I like the goal here. It, it doesn't have an impact here on game one. This is the Landers game, <laughs> but but they did it. They scored that first goal. The the feeling going into a game where you just got shut out last game and you had really nothing, it's a terrible feeling. So getting that goal, it could be huge for them. That's true. At least they've got something to go off coming into the next yeah. game and weren't completely something shut out. Like yeah, you said. something positive to work off of. Oh, but Chorizo, he's not done. But maybe Capacale isn't either. That ball does eventually touch. GG's. And that'll do it for game one. Landers take it convincingly. Yeah, honestly, just banners are falling apart there. And Landers are taking every opportunity they could to score. Taking complete advantage of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it looked like many of the touches the bandits had were for the sake of touching the ball. And some of them just weren't really helping that much on defense. They were kind of panicking a little bit. Especially with all the insane offensive pressure that Chorizo is just putting on the net. It's, I mean, he's just a very aggressive player. Yeah, one thing, you can't crumble under that pressure. You've, you've got to be able to adjust. It, it might be something different. I feel like you get used to it more as the series goes on, but when you when you play somebody as aggressive as this, you've got to get to the ball faster. You don't need to beat him to the ball. You just need to get there with him, meet him, and get a quality 50-50 on the ball. And I'm sure Ulix, the coach, is telling them that right now as they're uh, just taking an extra second here. And you got to take all the time you need after a loss to get those adjustments in and get your mentality. The Bandits, they're not out of this series. One game's nothing in a best of seven. Yeah. We can only hope that they come into this game with great communication and good rotation. And that's a big thing. I feel like when your rotations and communication are on point, the mechanics, they just, they just kind of come naturally because... Once you're comfortable with your gameplay, your mechanics come a lot easier. And yeah. it looks like Digital's not in the game here. Uh oh, he might. And have somehow Trezo still scores. I don't know if we're gonna count this here. Yeah, I'd say for the sake of um. We're gonna go ahead and restart. The playoffs. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna restart. Honestly, both of those players are caught off guard from. Digital DD leaving the match, so I don't think they were prepared for that shot either way. Yeah, they were kind of just letting it sit there and wait. I'm not sure where he went. Maybe he got disconnected, but let's see here. Yeah, it seems to have some internet connection issues. I know he's had some problems before. Yeah, and if you're if you're the Landers, uh, you got to be proud of that game one. Uh, Digital, he was playing. He was he's a role player. That's what he's been all season, and that's important. Chorizo could not be 2v1 in these, these teams. It's important to have that second guy that you can rely on, and that's really what Digital's been. Mm -hmm. I feel like when he's needed to, he's stepped up, he's made saves, he's scored goals. He's not going to be really an impact player on the field, but he, he's able to do his job and let Chorizo do all the dirty work, and it's worked for them this season. Yeah, and I have asked 
to Laner's team captain about that a little bit. And they know that their teamwork has kind of been lacking. Honestly, that's no secret to any team in the league right now. Yeah. Um, but they really want to get that chemistry down and just just become a great team. Absolutely. Especially coming into the finals if they can make it through this game. Game two. This this next goal is going to be really big for both of these teams here. Uh, it's really important that the Bandits can start off on the right foot. And e even if they do get scored on first, you can still start off better than you played last game. Trezo taking control of the ball. Looks like he could go for a double tap, but your boy Rex is up and he hits it to the side. Great touch. Capacale follows up into the opposing team's corner. Can you do anything with it? No, Digital DD, however, switched back to Octane. Despite them winning, I guess Scarab just wasn't enough. What a save. Your boy Rex, what a save. It was a great save, but they put themselves in that situation. It was kind of a save that you got to make. He crossed the net a little bit awkwardly there. Both Bandits players were fortunately there to potentially make a save. And my oh my, they're a little bit awkward here. I, I was just about to praise them for how well they had started the game. Uh, defensively here, getting some really nice clears out, but we'll see what happens moving forward. Yeah, Teresa with a little bit of a whiff on the ball there. It could have been a great shot. I don't think either of those players were expecting it. However, they were able to take the control of the ball. Kappa kills looking for a pass to his teammate. Bases or bumps chase. Oh, boy misses Rex the shot, and it's wide. Yeah, and that that that's a good look for them. You know, even though it didn't go in, they've they've got some better looks here and. As we're, we're nearing the first minute and a half here, they haven't conceded a goal yet. That's a step up from last game, and so uh, a lot of these 50s have been going their way. I feel like positionally they're doing better on the midfield, so this is going to be a much tighter game. Yeah, definitely. Looks to see here that little bit of an awkward exchange. Oh, good bump. Corner. Chase is bumped. Your boy Rex is there. Could that what a in? save! Oh, what a save! That was insane! Incredible there from Trezo. He gets bumped to the ceiling and somehow comes down and is able to make the save on the ball. Though that is a huge play in the playoffs. Yeah, that's a sign of a, a great player as well. Being able to recover so quickly like that, yeah. be there on defense when your team needs you. I mean, that's well, that's a miss a... there. Oh, and oh that the could be musty. A musty flick into the net, and he styles on his opponents. He failed the musty, but it was still. A quality shot on net here. Rex, he's in net. He's got a lot of time to react to it. But he's not expecting the shot to come in here. And the important thing to note from that, Kappa Kale went for an aggressive top wall challenge and missed it. And that's really what led to that play happening. Yeah, you can't be missing those, especially on a uh, mechanically solid player like Terizo. I mean, he can, mm -hmm. he can do some things with the ball. Yeah, like we just saw. If you give him the time and space to do stuff... Uh, he's gonna he's, he's gonna do it. Oh, here's a great chance here. Can Rex put this oh, in? Boy Rex. Oh, oh no! no! Kappa Kale finishes it barely. Chorizo gets an incredible save here. I mean, he did the best he could. He got demoed. I didn't like the demo there. Chorizo is on the bandit side of the field, out of position. But Kappa opts to go for the demo, which actually helped him and reset them. But somehow that went in, as we're just at halftime here. Yeah, honestly, just I don't even know what to say about that play. Trezo's stealing kill. all the boost there. Yeah, he wasted all his boost to try and grab some more, but unfortunately he didn't get it, leaving himself in an awkward position. A little bit of a double commit there. Could be really bad. Oh, Just a little soft touch on net. Great save. Trezo with the shot. What a save! Kappa Kale with back-to-back -back huge stops on the goal line there. Rex made a good play initially to have a really patient challenge for Trezo. Kappa Kale came up with two saves, but now they've got more problems to worry about. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have to worry about him anymore, at least for the time being. Kappa Kale loses the 50 to Digital DD. Your boy Rex on the wall. It's another 50. Kind of bad. He gets beaten to it. Oh, watch the double. Oh, doesn't quite get it there. Yeah, not able to connect on that. That's usually a routine touch for a player like Chorizo. And so a couple of mistakes coming out from, from the landers here. If you're the bandits, you yeah. want to capitalize on this. Oh, you definitely do. But you don't do that by staying on top of each other on the <laughs> offensive side of the map. That can lead to an Disaster. open net. Oh, Trezo's yeah. out of boost here. Kappa Kale with a good shot, but that's a really patient save there. 
Oh, Wait, it's supposed to open his head. Up, that could be in. No way, Digital! This is the read! And just like we said, Digital could come up huge. He did right there, Teresa, with an open net. Both Bandits players commit to this. And my oh, goodness, no. Digital gets the save of the game here. And the Bandits, they thought they had a free goal there. Both players up. <laughs> that one stings for them. Even in the playoffs, we could still whip out our catchphrase. That's an open <laughs> That's an net. Open net. And that was almost an open net. Trezo doesn't make it back in time there. That was probably a, the best opportunity the Bandits had all series, as they still have not had a lead yeah. yet this series. However, even with 50 seconds left on the clock, they are still in this game. They can compose themselves and get another goal. Ooh, Capicale, a little awkward, gets bumped. But the Lander's teammate is nowhere to be found. Oh, Chase misses the boost. Awkward this could here. be good for the Bandits. And that is a massive clear right there. Kappa gets a nice touch to put it back towards the zone, but the Bandits are in no position to put on a follow-up shot right now. Yeah. Oh, and that gets past them. Oh, I thought the Bandits got a demo there. I guess not. And here's the last chance they have here. they got to get a nice clear out to the side. And Chorizo, he's going to come up with a touch here. That should just about do it for game two here. Wearing a nice play here, and oh, that's a good bump there, and, and a demo. And that's off the clock. The ball is still in the air. Capicale's got a chance to keep that up. He puts on a shot. Teresa with the save though, and that bounces and there. Rex He's gone. Completely opposite side of the map from the ball, and when is zero seconds on the clock. Kind of wonder what he was doing. I can't yeah, zero if he got seconds. Or not. I don't believe so. I believe I saw both amigos, or sorry, both Ma bandits players. Alive. I'm pretty sure Chorizo's the one that got demoed and respawned. Maybe I'm missing something there, but that was a good chance. I felt like, I mean, when you're down a goal at, at zero seconds, you definitely stick with the ball the whole time. Yeah. But this isn't the only time we've seen it. I mean, this has happened not only in this series, but other series as well. Your boy Rex, for some odd reason, goes all the way for back boost, giving mm -hmm. up possession on the play. And especially if you could have had a passing play that scored, that's just a missed opportunity there. And that's just not what you want to see, especially coming into high stakes games like this. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's okay to do that. There's definitely a time and a place to go back. And if yeah. you have a really fast um, speed, game speed and you can get back to the play really quickly, like you never missed a beat, that's you could definitely do that. But Rex, he's a guy, he, he takes his time a little bit more than most players, as we could see there. So... Yeah, I mean, the Bandits now, they find themselves down 2-0 in what feels like a really competitive series. And, yeah, the Bandits, they've just been finding a way to close out games here. As we hop into Game 3. Digital DD has control of the ball, however, not able to do much with it. Capacale will challenge, he gets it past Chorizo. Taking it into the corner, tries to pass it to his teammate. Oh my. Oh, that was an... A weird dunk there. An interesting Not play sure that here. player was planning that. Yeah, Rex does a nice job being patient there. Not trying to force something that wasn't there. Chorizo now, he's dangerous. Trying to go for the pinch Ooh. shot. Yeah, nice little ceiling pinch there. Fortunately, it's not on net. Capicale completely just demolishes the, the, the dribble Rex had going. Losing my train of thought. Yeah, me Not, too. <laughs> nonetheless, Digital, he's moving down the field now. Puts on a weak shot towards the net. Rex will be able to handle that. I found the landers are a lot more effective when they hold the ball longer. When they wait and try to bait out four touches from from the Amigos, it, or <laughs> from the Bandits, it works out a lot better. Capicale takes the ball up the wall. Trees is there to meet it on the roof. However, Rex will take control. Digital DD there is to answer that, though. Honestly, this has just been a back and forth exchange for both teams. Trees are able to get a, a weird double touch to their corner. Takes possession, takes it to his own corner. Let's see if the bandits can capitalize. Doesn't seem like they'll be able to. Boy oh, Rex caught out. in 1v1 watch with Trezo. Oh, he doesn't get the flip reset. Yeah, Trezo, he's been all over the field. He's had the ball quite a lot, but he really hasn't had that finish so far in this game. Is that an open net? Oh, that's what a, good a great shot. shot. But Beautiful what an even save. better save. 
Kappa Kale has been demoing every person he's seen so far. And so far, it, it hasn't really mattered. Because the demos, they've been coming at either inconvenient or irrelevant times so far. You'd like to see maybe on a two-on-one break for the bandits, then maybe go for a demo play there. But right now, it's been a lot of good attempts from both these teams. Chorizo, he's had a lot of good attempts towards the net. And the bandits, they, they've made a lot of nice plays here, whether that be demos or passing opportunities. But for neither team, uh, the plays just haven't been working out. Yeah, and even when they do get the bumps... Oh, what nah. a nice double tap! And that's just not even fair. You, you, you watch <laughs> this. He he carries this across from his side of the field over for a double tap. Honestly, your boy Rex caught himself in an awkward position. Jumped once, didn't even try to keep going. <laughs> Digital DD gives his teammates shot a 4 out of 10. Oh, and let's see here. This is a good chance. Trezo oh was left a little bit awkward here, and Rex again not moving up on the play here. And I feel like they've they've had that problem where when they need to move up on the play, they have it. But when it's better for them to maybe stay back. Yeah, like that back pass right there. Yeah, of course was... Digital DD was on the ball, but at least maybe try to get a 50, I'm not sure. I'll never question a player's judgment. And that Especially right there, that, that was another the forced bump right there. Maybe not the best idea to go for a bump in that spot here. That's a dangerous challenge from Digital. Here's a chance now. Bandits tie it up. Oh, great shot. And there's the mistake there from Digital. Chorizo's already right there, could potentially get a challenge. If he sits back in net, that shot is an easy routine save. But since he went for the challenge, put himself in an awkward spot there. Yeah, it goes to show how dangerous double commits are, especially on defense. And the landers, they're giving the bandits time and space to work with here. And that's usually not what they do. The bandits have a golden opportunity here in these past few games. The landers haven't been playing as well as we've seen them in the past. But yet they're still coming out with these wins. Capcale with a little doink. Trying to go for the bump on Chorizo. Doesn't get it. They go for a pinch. Could that be in? No that's way! In! No way! What is that? It, it's oh it's a gosh. nice pinch. It's a nice pinch. I do like it. But, oh my goodness, that's that's just crazy right there. How oh. does that end up in? I think wow. I think maybe that could be saved by Rex, but oh man. Yeah, honestly, I don't think he was expecting the bounce off of the ceiling. I mean, that was one of the most awkward pin shots I've seen. Yeah, I wasn't. I was. From a defensive I was, standpoint. Yeah, I was looking at shot there. That's all I was seeing, and that's a really good team play from the Landers, which is coming into this is something you said they've struggled with. It seems like they're starting to figure it out here. Yeah, and honestly, that makes them a twice as deadly team to go up against. And if the Landers do win this series, they're going to make it to the finals for the third straight season, but they still have not been able to hang, hang a banner. Trees are trying to put the dagger in a game three. Not going to happen, though. And that demo could just about save. do it. Only 30 seconds remain between the Landers and their 3-0 series lead. No bad oh, double no, commit. Oh, no, a double commit. Oh, but the mistouch. Digital had a wide open net to shoot at. Oh, but... Oh, oh no, miss again. He, oh, he misses the pass. This is the Bandits' one and only chance, but they're still double committing on offense. They are scrambling to try to get the ball in the net and making so many mistakes in doing so. Just, and just that is not going to help. That, that was just poor ball management there by the Bandits. Oh. Chorizo ends game three here. The Bandits once again in a very a close the game. And, and that's where you go back to you question the comms there. Whether or not they were just going for it because they were down. I, I felt like they had some time. They didn't really need to fully commit to the play just yet. And now the ba the Landers take a 3-0 series lead. Of course, the series isn't over as it is a best of seven in the playoff. But now the Landers with a chokehold on this series. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening for the Bandits tonight. They seem to be falling apart, unfortunately. Yeah, and, and don't don't get them wrong. They've they've made it close each of these few games. I feel like. The scoreline in game one 
it was a little it was kind of, yeah, it was partially accurate but i feel like all three of these games have been closer than the final score actually shows here but the band agree the bandits man they've got they've got a, quite a few adjustments to make in my opinion the way the landers have been playing if the bandits could come out and play some good rocket league for the next few games they they could have a potential to take a few games straight here but um, this is a mentality. When you're down 3-0, you got to take it one game at a time. You can't get ahead of yourself. So, getting that first goal is going to be huge here for the Bandits in Game Four. Yeah, if they can score first, get on the offensive first, and just take advantage of that and try to hold the lead this game, try and grab some momentum. Hopefully, they can come in and force a a Game Five. And maybe even a game six, who knows? At this point is only speculation because they are just on the ropes here. This could be their final game for the season. Yeah, and these players they know that. Rex is a veteran of the league. Kappa Kale's been around a while himself. These guys know the situation they're in. Uh, they definitely have the experience. But Chorizo has the skill! <laughs> what an amazing shot. And and here's the problem here. Their ones on backboard. One's in net, and neither of them able to make contact. I mean, if you look where where the ball meets the backboard, that's where you gotta aim. That's where you gotta aim, and you just gotta get your car up there as fast as possible and get to a challenge. You can't just sit there and let him uh, take that shot because he's gonna score it nine times out of ten. Yeah. And I can only imagine how many hours that player has in training. Quite a few. Just practicing those shots. Capicale, oh, look. nice play. Interesting pass. And Rex Capicale again. bringing out a troll car. I'm not sure if you noticed that. Oh, I do <laughs> I see it what now. he's rocking there. <laughs> I, I think that's the Bandits mobile. <laughs> yeah, and the Bandits, their last series win. You gotta get. You gotta go back to season four, when they made it to the finals against the Bobcats. And then, like we've stated before, the Landers. This could be their third play, uh, finals appearance in a row here. Oh, and that's an awkward play there. And once again, if the bandits just are a little bit closer to the play here, another opportunity if the bandits are just a little bit more on top of it, that could have been a couple of goals right there. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication. The boy Rex still staying on that ball. Capicale's going for boost, leaving the net wide open. And Chorizo makes another goal. Wow, has he scored all the goals this series? Ooh, I, I don't recall. Landers, I'm not I, sure. I think Digital, he, he made the save of the game in game two. Treza put the goal in. He got that assist there. I, I would count that as a good play for him. But besides yeah. that, it's been a Treza show. I don't remember if he got credit for the pinch or not. I believe that was Treza's goal as well. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Capacale trying Capicale to get it over to pass. It just, it's just instantly read by him. That's It's too slow. It doesn't get there fast enough. Yeah. And it's just not effective enough. Oh, both players. Another double commit on defense there. Unfortunately for them, it does not result in a goal. They can still bring this game back. We'll see. Top kill. Is he? No, both players are there. The boy Rex will take control. Hits it past Digital DD. Oh, Capicale gets beat to the ball by Chorizo. Boy Rex with a nice block there, just saving his team from a further deficit in this game. And now Boy I'm not Rex sure where Rex is going for a bump here, but there, there's no dribble play from Capicale, so the bump is a little bit irrelevant as we've seen before. Oh, and Shrizo, he's gonna put in another goal here. Absolutely, just terrible gameplay here from the Bandits so far. Yeah, this team definitely not playing at their best unfortunately we've definitely seen them play better and something must be going on whether it's a, a lack of communication or just one of those slumps you know everybody has that in this game yeah in the middle of the series i really liked how they played that's a good save from kappa kale but i feel like they kind of got away with from what was working and they kind of just started going for a little bit of everything here and now here's a final chance. Digital comes up with the stop there. Trezo, he just puts it in park and net. His teammates got this. Yeah, honestly, he's not even worrying at this point. A little bit of a BM there 
for he's, the bandits. He's just sitting there in net. And Digital... Here's your boy Rex with a nice chance, but Teresa still oh. makes the save! Oh man, the that's frustration. Just... The fr yeah, the frustration from the bandits, I can't imagine. Yeah, that's just salt on the wound there. Oh, there's a nice play, but so it doesn't go in! Oh man. Oh, the bandits can't buy a goal right now. <laughs> Honestly, just this poor sportsmanship from the landers here. Just leaving it to a 1v2 against the bandits and still holding the lead. It's yeah, just, just unfortunate. D Digital seems to be doing a good job here. He's always been a defensive guy, but... And man, Trezo playing goalie and it's just working. Yeah, honestly, the uh, bandits might just not be playing very well due to frustrations seeing this. I mean, this is just... This is <laughs> insulting. Yeah, and that's no knock to their season. They they played well enough to make it to the playoffs. You know, only 50% of the league makes it to the playoffs. So, they they definitely they had a good season. It was very up and down. They had their highs and their lows. This is definitely and there's a goal oh, there. That was a great 50 into the net. Looks like the players are actually getting toxic in the lobby. Honestly, they're just kind of done with what they're seeing now. Yeah, emotions kind of boiling over here. Yeah, when you, when you're just yeah. getting outplayed and everything you're doing isn't working. It just has it's just a terrible feeling. Yeah. And I, I can't I can't blame I can't blame the bandits here for being a little bit frustrated. And I hate to say it, but they're getting outplayed on two fronts. By the other team and by themselves it seems tonight. And honestly, this is one of the weirdest playoff games I think I've ever witnessed in the league so far. Yeah, it's been interesting to say the least. Uh Trezo just has been dominant all series, and the, the few times, the few games where he has looked a little bit shaky, the Bandits, they didn't capitalize on it. Oh, but here's here's one, maybe one more chance here for them to tie it up. Oh, this game's actually still not over. It's it's going to take a miracle. Trezo, he goes for a bit of an early challenge here. The toxicity continues in the chat. And honestly, the boost, just a slap in the face there. That's <laughs> it. That's one of the most annoying boosts I've ever heard. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. <laughs> Here we go, nine I'm seconds left. I'm just trying to talk, and I hear... <laughs> 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 a miss there from Digital here. This is the last chance for the Bandit season. Can they get something towards the net? Trees are just sitting there. And Kappa Kill just oh, hits no. the ground. He loses it. Loses possession here. Trezo, he didn't move a muscle. I think if they had put on a decent shot, that could have been a goal there. But nonetheless, the Landers... 4-0 sweep dominant. Their win streak continues. They've won eight straight. They're now four game wins away from having a perfect season. Yeah, and that would be the second perfect season ever. And honestly, for the Bandits, um, despite losing in the playoffs, uh, going on to next season, uh, we hope they'll keep their heads high and, you know, just keep their composure for next season, play mm -hmm. better, get better chemistry as a team, and um, just, you know, keep that, um, uh, keep those comms open and try to get, mm -hmm. again, just better team plays, better communication. I mean, we saw a lot of miscommunication tonight. Yeah, and you know. they're under contract for another season, and I know that they've got a lot of work to do this off season, and then uh, going into training camp for next season, and then once, once the preseason rolls around, hopefully we'll see this team, and we'll be a little more scared of them next season. I, I believe that'll be the case. I, I know these players are going to be willing to put in the work to get better uh, and improve their game, and we're, we're going to see a good Bandits team next season. I know that for a fact. Well, it seems we have a couple of the players from the winning team here. Let's see if we can get an interview. I guess we'll start with their team captain. That seems fitting. All right, let's go ahead and unmute. Chorizo, man, that was a very dominant win. Congratulations on that win. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Yeah, that's always good. I, I, I thought you guys uh, played a good series overall. You had a little bit of some struggles there in the middle of the series. Walk me through um, what was happening through those games. Well, uh, once we started to get, after the, all those double commits and stuff, after we got in our rhythm, we just started to vibe, you know? We were just messing around. 
We were just playing. We were just playing normally. Yeah, having fun. Having fun. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Bandit, the bandits wanted a fun game. I was told that they wanted a fun game, so we made they it got fun. Double Aaron, did you have yeah. a question? Oh, I was just gonna say, you know, that last game didn't seem like they were having too much fun there. A little. Bit the, uh, <laughs> yeah. The BM you know, coming in from you playing goalie. Hey, professional game. goalkeeper right here. I learned my stuff from bronze. All right. <laughs> you know. All I take my lessons. lessons. Yeah, you know, you got to know the basics. Backwards in net, no boost, <laughs> all the above. You know, like the that's how you be the best. The goalpost got goal. it as well. You know. Yeah. True. So we're gonna let the cat out of the bag here. This is the third season straight the Landers have made it to the finals. Is this finally gonna be the season where you get that championship? I feel like it. I feel like it. I'm confident. You're confident. Yeah, you got a tough team. You got two hot streaks going into to next game. So, um. Let's let's talk to Digital here for a second. Uh, are you able to have an interview here, Mr. Digital? Is that possible? Sure. So I, <laughs> I got one question in particular for you. I don't know if you're even going to remember this. Game two, you made a huge play with a minute left. You made that save on the goal line, and it passed right out to Chorizo. He walked in the net. Um, and after that, what were you guys yeah, thinking? Yeah, great save. Because that was an amazing save. Walk me through uh, that. Well, you know, it's just it's very difficult dealing with Chase a lot of times, and, you know... I yeah, just gotta kind of do it. <laughs> I, I list every wow. year in the past, but I gotta do it, I guess. The yeah. team yeah. chemistry is up there. Yeah, that that was a yeah, really. You guys played. I, played I forget well which tonight. game it was. Game three, maybe that pinch was that was incredible. That was a, a really nice play. Maybe it should have been a save from the bandits, but either way, I went in, and that was a great pinch there. Yeah, honestly, that pinch was pretty exciting to see. And you guys, you had some nice stylish shots there. Honestly, you just had complete control. Over that series, mm -hmm. was just, was there any moment where you were just worried about, you know, losing the game and possibly getting reverse swept at all? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <okay>. No. <laughs> no toxicity, but we 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 had it. We knew it. Hey, that's confidence right there. That's confidence. We we were waiting for two hours. We practiced for two hours. Yeah, I think. <laughs> it definitely makes a big difference when you're going into the game there. So, yeah, congratulations. Good luck in the finals, and we look forward to seeing you play in a week. Thank yeah. you. I, I wanted I to ask win. real quick. Oh, who'd you want to ask? Um, like, what's your guys' game plan going into the finals, knowing what team you're going up against? Working on the chemistry. I would say that. We had a lot of double commits. But uh, we we beat the Elite. We swept them in the regular season, so we'll see if we can get back-to-back -back sweeps. Yeah, we Interesting. Wish, yeah, we, we wish you luck in that finals, but uh, yeah, once again, congratulations on the win here today. Well earned. And that's going to just about do it for the stream here, most likely. Um, the Landers, they take that in a convincing 4-0 sweep, uh, if you missed it. And man, the Bandits, I felt like a lot of times in that series, they had a decent chance. They, they had some opportunities to make plays, weren't able to do it, and I, that's that's the series. That's just that's what happens if you don't capitalize. All right, so let's see here. I think that just about does it. We checked all the boxes on the stream, I guess. So, uh, that, so. Uh, that that just about does it. Uh, we'll see you guys back here on Sunday for the Scrub Cup Finals. Here, myself and Double Aaron will be there next Sunday for you. So don't miss that. It's going to be great. Landers versus Elite. It's going to be a fun match. Uh, I mean, there's some really mechanically gifted players playing in that game. So you definitely don't want to miss it here. We'll be crowning the Season 9 Scrub Cup champions. Once again, that's on Sunday. So uh, we look forward to that. Uh, I've been Ashatoon. Double Aaron has been Double Aaron. And we'll see you guys later. Good night. Later.